So yesterday, somebody called me out on Twitter. What a surprise. And usually I get these sorts of things, you know, you're a bad trader, you suck, you can't prove you're profitable, that sort of stuff. You get those things thrown at you all over the place. It's Twitter after all, or X. X.com nowadays. But here's what you need to understand about this particular post and why I'm giving this any time of day. This person actually tried to back it up, or so they said. They said, Nick, I'll give you a 0.1 Bitcoin if you can prove you've made money over the last three years in your trading. And so, you know, this one stuck out to me because this person was, um, you know, pretty, pretty aggressive with their their tweets or their X posts. And, um, you know, so I responded to him and I, and I said, you know what, I've done exactly what you're telling. I, I've shared, you know, my public broker results uh, online. So this is what I said back. So I responded back to Scott. And I said, here's four years of my trading performance on a US regulated broker. I recently made a login video clicking through my entire trading performance on this account month by month. Here is the link. And by the way, we'll show a real quick clip of what that video entails. It's a very simple video where I just open up my broker platform, open up my TradingView Live account, and I show you the performance that I've had going back since 2020. I'm just gonna lock this and unlock it just to show you that, you know, this is this is an interactive, I'm, I'm on a real, you know, platform. I'm not doing anything sort of thing like that. So let's just go back to the account and you can see um, we are in truly logged into Webull's platform here, which by the way, if you'd like to just save time, in the last four years since I started this public account in 2020, this account is up a cumulative PL of 171, give or take percent during that time. That's based on Webull's calculation of cumulative PL. And what can be a little bit confusing here is I've deposited to this account over time, but the cumulative PL does not take into account deposit and withdrawals. So on the available, you know, money in the account, the return has been 171.31%, though the absolute return has not been that amount since I've added to this account sequentially over time. More on that in just a bit. And for context, the S&P 500 during that time is up roughly 100%. So while I have been able to to outperform. It's not like I'm, you know, boasting that I'm making 100% per year or anything like that. My return is about 170. Let's be generous and say the S&Ps is about 100%. But this is where things escalated. And I mentioned in my post, let me read it to you really quick. I said, here's four years of my trading performance. While I highly encourage people to remain skeptical of trading influencers, I'd ask that you reserve judgment before insulting people and that you can keep your 0.1 Bitcoin. I don't want your money. Uh, I, I would rather use this as I'm doing in this video right now as a lesson to the community. People who post broker statements who can pull them up on live streams, you know, it takes a lot. I'm not going to lie. Like I, I am, I am, you know, I think about it sometimes. Do I just want to stop doing that? Because it's really, really hard to do it publicly. Because when I go through a drawdown, it's even worse than when I do a drive drawdown in private, right? The hard part about sharing your public results, there are probably some profitable traders out there who don't show their, their results simply because the immense pressure that comes with it. I can tell you from firsthand experience, going through a drawdown and having comments of people calling you an idiot is really hard on your psyche. You suck. Yeah, jackass. I'd love to punch that guy in the face right now, but I can't, you know, because I'd get in trouble. And so I don't, you know, I, I think it's very, very hard to do, but I've done it simply because I think it is um, what I would want to see if I was looking to learn from somebody and not waste my time. If you are out here on the internet, you have precious time. You are working a full-time job. I get that. I used to be in that same position where I was trying to learn to trade on my off hours between college classes and after my job. Your time is limited and I really, really respect my audience. So I don't want to waste anyone's time. So I show you my results to show you you're not wasting your time by you know picking up something from my videos if there's a, you learn a little you learn a lot whatever you learn if you learn something you can also rest assured you know i'm not just making up nonsense and telling you i'm profitable i show the results we'll get to the second because things escalated from here uh, because then he comes back and he actually responds he says that looks like a demo paper trading account to me but hit me up uh, with his name and email uh, if it's legit i'm happy to pay i'm a man of my word so at this point, you know, I respond again and I give them another chance. I'm saying, I don't want your money. I appreciate you sticking to your word, but I don't want your money. If you watch the video, you'll see the account is live in the top right. And if you know, you know, 
I, I pulled this up on live stream, like the fancy editing video idea doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because I pull it regularly up in my live streams. Um, if you watch the video, you'll see the account is live in the top right in the Weebles platform. And you can also see the same account logged into a live trading view account. It's straight up, it's a live account. I, I wouldn't, you know, risk my entire, you know, uh, name on this being a live or frauded account. But I gave this guy another chance. I was like, I don't want your money, but it's a real account. Um, and so he continues to push. He says, I really wouldn't slash shouldn't believe a professionally edited video. Thank you. Since it would be easy to fake. First of all, poor Chandler would hate his life if he had to fake all of my videos to like fake that my accounts are real. They're real. And, you know, again, poor Chandler would probably not want to work at my company anymore if I made him do that every single day. Uh, a quick five minute Zoom call at the time of your convenience so we can use we can use your Zoom to keep it confidential. You share your screen, log in so I can see it's not some editing magic. I'll pay. So he says it again. And I said, if you insist, I can do it right now. I was at the office at this time. And of course, you know, he was responding back and forth to my tweets. So I said, you know what? If you want to pay me 0.1 Bitcoin to show you my login, that's going to be the easiest 0.1 Bitcoin I've ever made in my life. Um, he said, sure, let's do it. I'm on a plane of 45 minutes, but DM me a Zoom link. I'll get your cash sent. He said, and I just said, I just DM'd you. And so I did. Here's the DMs. So I sent him this uh, this Google link because I don't really like Zoom. I like Google. I Google everything. Uh, and then he joins. So following our call uh, and during our call, Scott was actually pretty nice. When, when we got on the call, uh, what we found pretty quickly is that we agreed on more than we disagreed, which I, I was not surprised by. Remember, I started out by saying, I'm a fan of skepticism in this industry. I think you should be asking every influencer that you spend your time with for a track record. Show me results. Show me that you actually do what you're saying you're doing. And I'm not talking about, you know, prop firm payouts or anything like that. I'm talking about show us a live account with a long term results. Um, you know, I, I'm not trying to like pat myself on the back here, but there are other traders who I highly respect who have done what I've done, which is show a live US regulator for us US traders. And if you're not in the US, of course, just some regulated brokerage, uh, like a live login, that sort of thing. I think it, it brings you credibility and real traders can do it. There are several uh, other notable traders in our circle that have done that and I really, really respect it. So I've done it too. So again, um, Scott had the humility, I think it was cool to, to say I was wrong. He jumped on the call with uh, with me and uh, showed showed the account. Uh, pretty sure he wasn't tricking me and I'm a suspicious mother effer. Uh, his account is uh, 36 higher than the total deposits over the last four years, which is true. So, so yes, but this is a little bit misleading. 36% um, higher than the total deposits. That's true. But my actual return uh, is 171%, as I showed you earlier in this video. Because again, you don't calculate your returns based on your final balance that you've deposited in an account. You count, you calculate your return based on the available capital that you have over time and the generated returns that you have at that capital at that time. That's how the the PL you know calculation on Weebles uh, software works. So yeah, um, just to to clarify that. And he says he thinks he, that I'm legit, and I I re really appreciate Scott doing this. You know, this is Twitter after all. At the end of the day, people can just choose to be like, well, now I'm gonna go ghost mode and never say anything. However. I have not heard anything from Scott since in regards to his promise of paying 0.1 Bitcoin. Now I'll say this, uh, I really don't want the money. However, because Scott continued to up the stakes a few times with me, I'm gonna up the stakes. Scott, I think you should send me the 0.1 Bitcoin because what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna donate all of it to charity and I'll post it on, on the internet here. Uh, if you follow through with your word, I'll follow through with mine. Send the 0.1 Bitcoin. We'll find a way to give it away, whether it giving it away some to the community here on YouTube, on, on Twitter, um, you know, to, to traders somehow, or just to a charity. I'm not exactly sure which charitable organization, but if you send me that 0.1 Bitcoin, I will not keep any of it. I'll find creative ways to give it away. So, um, there you go. Thank you very much for, for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, um, here's a, here's a quick note again, to Scott's credit, we need more people like Scott who are skeptical because so many people out here are just 
gullible as anything when it comes to influencers. They idolize people who sound smart on social media, but do not show track record performance. Um, my trading is by no means the best trading you've ever come across. I can assure you there are better traders out there in the world than me. But what I'm trying to do on my social media is keep it as real as I possibly can with you guys. Um, I'm here for the long term. I'm not here as a grifter. I'm not here in and out. I'm not, you know, fake guruing you guys just to sell you a bunch of stuff and then move on. This is my passion. This is what I love to do every single day. I'm not going anywhere, but my results are real. And I think that, and I hope that it sets a precedence for other uh, influencers who are considering being or trying to be as transparent. I can tell you, it's very hard. Um, let me complain for a moment. Like I said, going through drawdowns publicly is like really painful. And I, to be honest, don't know if I will do it forever. Um, but I have done it for four years publicly. Um, it's come with its hardships. Like it's, it's not always fun. And, but to be honest, let me add one flavor to that. Sharing my public track record has made me a tremendously better trader. Because when you have the privacy, and, and this is probably the argument for why I, I won't at any point stop sharing a public broker statements, pub, public track record, it makes me a better trader. Because I can't screw around and do silly, stupid things. I have so many people who watch my videos who can see what I do week to week, month to month. Um, I'm constantly under scrutiny, under criticisms, under people watching. And having that, it almost helps me personally to perform better under pressure. I don't think that I would have returned 170 plus percent on my account over the last several years if I didn't have such a public um, performance you know, throughout that period. I really think that it is incredibly beneficial if you're an influencer watching this, I'm telling you, first of all, if you have the numbers, you will stand out amongst the rest of your peers. No amount of Twitter drama, no amount of hyping yourself up or speaking smart can make you nearly as credible as just straight up logging into your broker, show the world, and guess what? Suddenly you have credibility and you'd have my hat off. I don't wear hats because my hair would look silly stupid under a hat. In fact, I do have one hat. I got this pirate hat that I were wearing. It really messes up my hair, but um, we're doing a pirate theme here at A1 Trading on our live stream. So that's why the hat's there. But um, yeah, so, so my point is, again, at the end of the day, if you're an influencer and you have the numbers, I think you should show them because I challenge you to to do what you know this mission here is. I think that bringing awareness to this topic, whether Scott did it correctly or not, I, I think he was a little aggressive and uh, a little bit too insulting with his approach. Whose boons? Your boons? However, uh, he does have a good general point. Call out influencers. Call out traders who you follow. You are worth, as an audience, your time is precious. Again, I know what it's like to have a very busy life and schedule. Don't let influencers waste countless hours of your time if they don't have any results that they're willing to show you. So again, respect to Scott, but more respect if he does send the 0.1 Bitcoin. Again, it'll, it's going to a good cause, whether it be some to the community, some to a charity. Um, we'll find a way to, to be generous with that. Um, it'll go somewhere. I won't keep the money. So with that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you and we'll see you next time. If you're looking to improve as a trader, we've got some cool free resources here that I wanted to share as we close today's video. Down below in the description, there is a link to join our Discord channel or our Telegram channel. And we also have our website, a1trading.com, where traders can get access to free course material to help you improve as a trader. Remember, we are also live Monday through Friday on this channel around 9.30 a.m. US Eastern, broadcasting most live news events and that sort of thing. So hope to see you there. And also we do have a couple videos here showing up on the screen. If either of these seems like it might be helpful to you, then make sure to click here or here and we'll see you there.